The father of the suspected Highland Park shooter was indicted by a grand jury just within the last hour. And Fox 32's Tia Ewing is live in Waukegan with what happened in court. Tia, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you as well, Roseanne. Yes, Robert Cremo Jr. was arraigned inside the courtroom on seven felony counts. Also read aloud inside the courtroom, every single victim involved in the Highland Park Parade shooting, all of their names, all seven names were read aloud inside the courtroom. Of course, you know these charges stem from the documents that we even obtained at Fox 32 showing that Robert Cremo Jr. signed off on the FOIA application for his son knowing that he had mental health issues. Uh, threat to kill himself and even hurt his own family members. Cremo Jr. was arraigned in front of Judge George Strickland. He remains out on bond. There is video and other evidence that will be used in Cremo Jr.'s case that is being collected in his son's trial for the mass shooting in Highland Park on July 4th during the parade. Cremo Jr.'s lawyer says the issue isn't his client's signature on the FOIA application. He says there are other questions, but he didn't want to delve any deeper. If Cremo Jr. is uh, actually charged and, and is hit with these charges and, and is found guilty, he faces one to three years in prison for each felony count. We're a little surprised of the indictment. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to take too many questions uh, for today. Um, obviously, we got a court date for April 4th. We're going to look at the initial discovery uh, that has been tendered to us today. Um, I do believe that at the end of the day that Mr. Cremo will be vindicated of these charges. And that was his attorney, George Gomez, that you just heard from. In terms of Cremo Jr., he will be back in the courthouse again. That will happen on April 4th at 11 in the morning. Live from Lake County, Tia Ewing, Fox 32 Chicago. Okay, Tia, thank you.